Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week 89. We're glad to have you with us. Along with the Chevy Camaro and Ford's Mustang, Pontiac's Firebird Trans Am pretty much defines what a modern American performance car is. It's been on the market for 20 years and is still going strong. That's because Pontiac has been smart enough not to mess with tradition. Rear drive and a big V8 are what the Trans Am is all about. But when it came time to build the 20th anniversary model, the folks at Pontiac decided to try something just a little bit different. A quick glance won't find much that's really different about the 20th anniversary Trans Am. Look a bit closer and the anniversary car still bears a striking resemblance to the established top-line GTA model. A logical comparison since it shares the GTA's bodywork and everything that we can cram in trim level. The only options available are removable roof panels and leather seats. There is a large decal on the door indicating the car's status as this year's Indy 500 pace car, but that is an owner-installed option. Those of us who prefer not to advertise our vices need not exhibit it. It's not until you look closely at the small badge on the fender that you discover what really sets the 20th anniversary Trans Am apart from your run-of-the-mill hot Pontiac. For this celebration, Pontiac traded the GTA's 5.7-liter Chevy V8 for a boosted Buick V6. This 3.8 liter is similar to the one we loved in the Buick Grand National. Now it has new heads, pistons, oil cooler, and a larger intercooler. The modifications, mostly aimed at improving reliability, also upped performance. The turbo now spins out 250 horsepower and 340 pound-feet of torque. Stab the accelerator and any reservations that you might have about putting a Buick engine in a Trans Am quickly disappear as the car rockets to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds. Keep the pedal firmly to the floor and the quarter mile melts away in 14.2 seconds at 96 miles per hour. But be forewarned, substantial turbo lag and heavy vibration mean that hard acceleration is always a teeth-chattering experience in the anniversary Trans Am. Yet, some hard driving around Georgia's Roebling Road racetrack highlighted the smooth, well-matched gear ratios of the four-speed automatic transmission. No manual is available. The turbo Trans Am suspension is derived from the GTA's Level 3 package. That means a super firm ride and almost no body roll. It also means a Trans Am that almost grips like a Corvette. But in this car, you must take care to anticipate sudden rushes of turbo power that can break the tail loose in the middle of a corner. There's also a lot of body vibration, but a good deal of road feel through both the seat and the crisp, positive power steering. Once you get something this powerful up to speed, stopping it becomes a serious matter. The Turbo Trans Am uses four-wheel disc brakes. These haul it down from 60 miles per hour with distances averaging to 137 feet. Fade is non-existent, but poor pedal feel sometimes makes it hard to stay out of lockup. Feel or no feel, the substantial braking power of these big discs came in handy on the challenging twist of Roebling Road. Back on firmer ground, we took a good look at the interior and again found few differences between it and that of the stock GTA. A turbo boost gauge has been added to the Trans Am's big readable gauges, but everything else appears to be standard GTA, from the straightforward heat and ventilation controls to the many small buttons on the stereo. Fortunately, Pontiac's wheel-mounted radio controls save you from on-the-road station searching. However, long periods on the road will leave you searching for more comfort. The hard sports seats are tiring, but the plentiful adjustments do allow for an excellent driving position. And prospective owners better like the camel color, because that's the only one available to go with the white-only exterior. Rear seating is as minimal as we've come to expect in GM's F-body machines. But those who do fit back there get proper shoulder belts. And the seat backs fold for added cargo carrying flexibility. You need that flexibility when you're dealing with such an irregularly shaped trunk. The floor's odd contours don't easily take a full load of luggage, especially if you want the retractable cargo cover in place. On a more positive note, long blasts down the highway did return rather remarkable fuel mileage. The EPA estimates the turbo Trans Am at 16 City 24 Highway we got a consistent 23 miles per gallon in all types of driving. Highway ride is expectedly firm, but no more so than the GTA.
But then the few prosperous buyers that snare one of these special Trans Ams won't worry about economy or ride. Pontiac's 20th anniversary Trans Am starts at $29,839. Our test car's single option brought the price to $30,759. While a lot of money for a re-engined GTA, it is a collector's piece. By comparison, Chevy's L98 Corvette is more expensive and not nearly as unique. It does offer near identical acceleration numbers, but edges out the Trans Am in handling and comfort. The Dodge Daytona is a less expensive turbo alternative. But even with Carroll Shelby's rework, it's not as fast or exclusive as the 20th anniversary Trans Am. It does have a more comfortable interior. On our safety check, the 20th anniversary Trans Am passes with rear shoulder belts, but lacks both anti-lock brakes and front passive restraints. Hits start with the anniversary Trans Am's rocket-like acceleration. We also like the powerful brakes, racetrack-inspired handling, and crisp, positive power steering. Misses include its lack of a more distinctive appearance, inside and out. We also felt uncomfortable with the seats. None of this should worry Pontiac, however, which already has far more orders than anniversary Trans Ams. They'll build only 1,500 of them. Pontiac has wet the appetite of the collector car market with the unusual choice of engine for its 20th anniversary pony car. Yes, it could be a little more distinctive to look at, but then not everyone wants to advertise their muscle. Regardless, those who buy a ticket to ride this Trans Am are in for the ride of their life.